to my surprise. He did the match. He did the monster match. The monster match. It was a graveyard smash. He did the match. It caught on in a flash. He did the match. He did the monster match. Hey, if you're looking in, to get into the Halloween spirit this weekend, you are in luck. The Michigan Science Center is hosting a spooky science bash this Saturday, and it's free to anybody if you'd like to attend. Joining us to talk more about this big event is Paulette Epstein, a science educator at the Michigan Science Center. Paulette, so great to see you again. How you doing? I'm doing excellent. We are ready to have some fun this morning because I also here this is serving as a birthday celebration uh so this is a celebration uh of the 10th anniversary of basf kids lab something that we do here at the science center every weekend fantastic well happy birthday to the lab there and it looks like it is cooking this morning what 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 example do you have for us today Our or experiment all right so today we're going to be working with something called dry ice Dry ice is called dry ice because it skips the liquid form. It goes straight from an, from an ice to a gas, which is something that we call uh, sublimation. So I've got a piece of dry ice right here. I've got dry ice and all of my little things right here. And this is made out of carbon dioxide um, and it's compressed and cooled down. It is negative 109 degrees Fahrenheit. So Ooh. notice I've got my safety gloves, mm -hmm. my safety glasses, and we are um, safely, of course, working with this dry ice. Um, but one thing that you can really do that's a lot of fun um, is make spooky bubbles with this dry ice. So this is actually something that you can do at home. Uh, you can get dry ice at some place like a grocery store. Um, usually they have it near the front, but again, always, always, always safety first, wear gloves, wear goggles. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and put this into my beaker right here. And you can see that that's, we have warm water in here and you can see that the carbon dioxide is turning into a gas pretty quickly. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the top on so that it starts coming out the front right here. And I have a glass of soapy water right here. And what I can do is oh. actually make some spooky bubbles. Okay, that is cool. <laughs> so if you add a little bit of glycerin to this too, to your bubble solution, uh, you can actually get the bubbles to stay which is definitely a lot of fun. Like I said, this is something that you can try at home, but we're also going to be doing it here at the Michigan Science Center this weekend. Um, so you can come on by and see how dry ice works in person. I love it. So this is from 10 to 4 p.m. This Saturday, October 24th, a free event for the community uh, celebrating 10 years of your kids lab there. But you do you have to have reservations for this. Yep, that is correct. Due to COVID-19, we're requiring reservations in advance, um, and we also have uh, a limited number of tickets available. So get them quick. Well, you, can check, you can check out our website at mi-sci.org to get tickets. I have a feeling it's going to be booked up quickly. Paulette Epstein, the science educator there at the Michigan Science Center, thank you so much for, for sharing that fun experiment with us, and uh, have fun this weekend. Thank you.